I am here to talk about the Light in Motion Seika 900 Ultra Light. It's the follow-on to their very popular light last year, the Seika 700. So 700 was 700 lumens and this one is 900 lumens. So what we got here is a um, really robust light from Light in Motion. What you're buying when you go Light in Motion is just industrial strength, waterproof, good packaging, good materials, one of the best chargers in the business, and uh, good, heat, good heat sinking, a really nice head. They have six LED lights here. And what they've done really special with this light is they've put in a lot of effort to control the beam pattern. Most lights, they just shine them out there as a circle and and that's it and the problem with that is half the all oh, about maybe 30 to 40 percent of the light can be wasted when you hit thin air light only is visible when you hit something so when you shine it like this half of it shines on the ground half of it shines in thin air you lose it and so what light in motion did is they said okay let's control the light so it's not so rounded on top flatten it out and let's give a lot more halo on the bottom and when you look, when you actually use this light, it's it's kind of surprising because you can see your front wheel, you can see the the, the ground around you. It uh, it just echoes their philosophy of, of how light should be utilized on a light like this. So this light, uh, let me look at my notes here, is um, 700 bucks and 900 lumens in our in our lux measure, measurement. It came in at 95 lux, which is very high, and three and a half hours. So, and, and the story with light and motion beyond the, the lux or lumens is really how they control the beam pattern. So without further ado, let me turn on the light. One of the best switches to in the business, very, very big, wide, and easy easy pressure to turn on and let me shine this on our normal test bed and as you can see it's very bright but what uh, what it's hard to see it's, it's a trapezoid style light kind of like a like a diamond shape so it's bigger on the bottom than it is on top so the strengths of this light is just the beautiful design of the, the head, cooling, beam pattern, the, the mounting is one of the best in the business. People say, oh, it's so simple, it's so rudimentary. But it's not simple, like it's like a simple rubber band, like most people. What it is, is it, it, it hooks up and you, you cinch it down and then you put it back down. So there's no way of it to loosen and it's very easy to control. It's not a little hoop band that's so tight that you, you can't get a handle on it. This one you can get a grip, bam. In fact, a lot of lights now are copying the light and motion system. And another thing they do, which is uh, might be obvious, is they allow you to, to swivel the light. Many companies say, oh, you don't need that. That's baloney. If you can swivel the light and aim it dead center or exactly where you want it to be, it, uh, it works out better, especially if you're on a riser bar, bars that are angled and you can't quite get, get the, uh, the light centered. Light motion says, oh, okay, we'll do that for you. So there you go. Probably downsides. Price is very high at uh, 700 bucks. You know, they're, they're, they're classic with this super long cord that you can't, you can't control. Uh, you can't replace because it's just built into the unit. Sometimes you may want it mounted to the stem or you know, right there essentially you have to, to to cinch down the strap but that's it it's 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 a really excellent light from one of our favorites in the business light in motion thank you